If you take your content marketing seriously, then you know how important research is. The more facts and the deeper research, the better your content will perform. Today, I want to introduce you to Market Muse, a high-end content research tool with multiple content modules. Let's check it out. So this is the Market Muse platform. It is divided into projects and applications. And then right now we are also running a beta on a topic navigator. Within the project sections, you can start a new planning. A planning is basically an article. So this article, I want to write a Market Muse review. I have ordered a brief down here, a first draft, but that one is processed by time. So we have to wait for that. But then in the brief section here, I can then build my own headings. So over here, we can see that we have some ranking subheadings that we can use in this case. So for instance, Market Muse Alternatives and Market Muse Competitors. I like that one. So let's pull that over. And then there's questions I want to answer. Again, we can look at the questions section over here. And all of this is the research pulled based on my search phrase, which in this case is Market Muse Review, which you can see up here. For the questions, let's say, does Market Muse help with backlinks? And what does the content score in Market Muse mean? And what is credit and what are they used for? So this section I like. Now let's go to the next section here. Again, we will add a subheading. What sector does Market Muse operate in? And let's go to the questions again. Let's take what are the main features of Market Muse? This one I will actually move up here because it's about alternatives and competitors. And then let's keep it at this. I know that it's important that your subheadings have something to do with the questions, but let's see how this goes because it is to some extent relevant to the question. So let's confirm and process this brief. So it will take a couple of minutes to process this specific brief. So let's see later on the video whether it's done or not and let's see the result. So right now it's just running in the background. In the meantime, let's go and check out some of the other modules. The first module here is creating research. So let's take a topic here and write WordPress image optimization plugins. And then let's press run. You can also enter a URL if you want to optimize based on that URL. But let's see how this will go and what we will get back as a result. It is now done running the research and it took quite some time. So do have patience because there's a lot of data that needs to go through. But here you can see that we get a lot of related topics and this is relevant in order to create authority within a search phrase. So if I want to cover WordPress image optimization plugins as a search phrase, you can see some of the phrases down here which are used. I should maybe take a look at and also use in my article. So the first one is, of course, my own search phrase that is often used one to two times in an article. Then there is image optimization used more than 10 times and it goes on and on down here. What's interesting is that it also comes with specific keywords that I can use, which is specific plugins. So here we have EWWW image optimizer, which is a plugin I've also previously reviewed. If we go further down, then we also have short pixel, another plugin. Then we have phrases like optimize image, WordPress image optimizer plugin, WordPress image compression plugin, and so on. What you need to use this module for is to see what are relevant for my search phrase. So when I enter my search phrase, what do we also need to focus on? Of course, you don't have to take all of these modules and then enter them into your article. You need to take those that are relevant and those that are maybe used a little bit more than the other ones because the less they're used, maybe the less relevant they are. But it's not always the case and that's why it's so difficult. So you need to use your common sense on picking out the words that you want to include in your article. But for now, I've just chosen one, some and I can then add to my inventory. Now let's move on to the compete. This is a really interesting tool. So I have used the same phrase up here, WordPress image optimization plugins. And what we can use this for is to find constant gaps. So you can see that if we see red, then it means it's used zero times. So this website is using it one to two times. 
But other than that, this search phrase might be a content gap in this case. Going further down, you can see a search phrase like image is heavily populated and you can see it's used more than 10 times on almost all the websites because these websites here are the top ranking on this specific search phrase. Moving further down, you can see a search phrase like optimize image. It's also not used that much, could also be a content gap. And going further down, it's used fairly enough, but the further you get down, the bigger content gaps you see. So like for instance, original image is used at some extent, but then optimized image is only used on two websites and they're used one to two times on those websites. Large image is not used so often either. I don't think anyone is searching for large image, but it's just interesting. And this is how you find those content gaps to see what you need to focus on. It's a really interesting tool. And it is the same keywords as we saw from the research. Now the optimize section. This is where you can write your content for this specific search phrase and then see how you can score high. Because for this optimize module, you have a score and this score is based on how many times you're using these specific words. So you can see that we have the different modules compete, which I just showed you. And then the research where we can see our topics here. So if I write WordPress image optimization plugin, then you can see it's getting green. And that's because I have used some of the words here. The same if I write PNG image, then you can see again, this one here is then coming up. And the same we see with WP Compress. Of course, right now I'm just writing nonsense. This is just to show you how you write a great article within Market Muse, because of course you need to write something that makes sense. Now, in order to change from only writing paragraph to also changing to headings is to enable the static control bar. Here I can change so it's a H1 for instance, or an H4, and then I can write something like Compress, is this the best plugin? So that's like one H4 for instance. And up here you can see your content score is right now nine. We need to at least be on 46, but 60 would be the best part because then we have the higher chance of ranking on this specific search phrase. It's counting your words, what the average word should be and the target that you should try and aim for. And all of these words out here you can use both for inspiration to what to write about, but it's also important to include some of these words. And when we look at the compete, then you can see how you measure between these because right now our content score is nine and all of these except for this one right here are scoring higher than nine and they have a higher count of words. So we need to write a lot more in order to just be in the mix here to rank for this specific keyword. In the feed here, you can see suggestions on what we should focus on. So this is what Market Muse finds important for this search phrase. So they're telling me that I need to use the word plugin more. I need to write more about WP Compress. I need to use the word image more and so on down here. So this is like recommendations from Market Muse on how you create the best possible article for this specific search phrase. We can also save our writing and it's important you do this because otherwise you lose all of your writing. Here you can save it to your inventory and then we can copy for publishing and it is just copying to a clipboard. There is no integration between Market Muse and WordPress. That would be a nice add on. But this is how you create content within Market Muse based on the research that we just did before with the research and the competition. Now the next point, which I would also like to be part of the optimized, but it's not possible in this sense, is questions. Because within questions, we have a lot of questions that we can focus on answering with articles. So of course you can take a question like, what do WordPress image optimizer plugins do? Then press run in, and then we can run it in optimize to create an article based on this specific question. And that is often done and it's very successful to do it this way. But you can also include these questions in a long article. So you take five, six, seven questions and then you answer them within one article. This makes sense when the questions are close to each other. Of course, if it's question in North, East, South, West, then don't do it. But if they're close to each other, it's a great idea. And then we can choose to run it in research, which I've also shown you, compete, optimize, or in connect. And connect is the last application in here. So again, we'll write WordPress image optimization plugins. 
in the connect module and then we'll see what results we get. Now the connect is done and what's interesting about connect is that you find links that you can link to or link from. So I have entered my website within Market Muse when I was setting it up and here it's showing me that internally I can link from all of these specific articles to the new article that I'm building about WordPress image optimization plugins. And going further down, it's also showing me related keywords like WordPress plugin, then these articles might be great. WordPress image, then these articles might be great. So this is a great way because internal link building is so important. It's so important that when a visitor reads your article that they always have the next step to go to. And that is often found within the article. So this is a great module to find those links. And they also have external links. So let's say I'm writing about short pixel as a plugin. Then I can link to this external article here talking about short pixel, or I can link to 10 best WordPress image optimization plugins or six best WordPress image compression plugins and so on. So this is just a great way to find those specific links that you can use. And you can also use this as inspiration to go in and see what they have talked about. And then maybe you can use some of it in your own article. We also have network and competition, but it didn't find anything. Now they are also running a beta module called Topic Navigator. This is still new and I have been trying to run it with some different search phrases and it is limited what results I get. So just for the sake of this video, I will just take a search phrase like WordPress optimization and run this so we're sure we get some data. With the topic navigator, you can see that these specific topics, they are searched on 10 to 30 times. So this is basically like a keyword research tool. Do however, be aware that just because Market Muse says that this one WordPress optimization is searched 30 times a month, that doesn't mean that it's exactly correct because I could imagine that it's searched a lot more than that. But it's just an indication to see whether you should focus on it or not. Because over here in the history, you can also see that it goes very much up and down. So in October 2020, there was 70 searches on it and then it goes down from there all the way. And here in November 2021, there was zero searches. So this is just a great way to see if you should focus on it or not. I will say as long as there are just more than zero searches, then it's worth focusing on the article. But this is the keywords. They do also have related topics. In this case, it didn't find anything. And this is going back to what I said in the beginning. It is still a new module, so it is limited what they have of data. But now we've been through all the applications. Let's try and go back to our project to see if our brief is done. And it is done here. So you can see that they are suggesting a lot of stuff and this is based on research. So let's just start from the top. So you can see they are suggesting that I would use Market Muse Review as my H1, basically as the article heading. Then they have some subtopics like content, content optimization, content marketing, content score. Basically they're different modules. So this is great to use. They don't have any additional topics. And then we have the subheadings that we did. And in the subheadings we have this, you have already seen market Muse alternatives and market Muse competitors. I have added some questions and here they are mentioning some topics I should focus on within this subheading. So SEO software, content creation, content brief, official website, page optimizer pro, mm, not so relevant. Google search console could be better content. I could also focus on. So this is okay still. Then we have an anchor that they suggest that this Google search console, when I use that, then I make a link to this internal article I have. And for the website auditor, they recommend that I link to an ex external article and there's no additional topics. And then it's the same we see here again, the subheading we added with questions, what topics they recommend that we add some links, both internal and external. I can see it's only showing one here, but they have 39 ways that they want to show what I can rank to. So this is great. This is an easy way to build up this specific article. And we can always add new sections for this brief to be elaborated even more. We can then save and finish. And now the report is ready. So now I cannot add anything else. I can still edit it. But here we have our outline brief. Then we have our executive summary where we can see that 
this one needs to target a content score of 49. We need to hit around 3000 words, a little bit less. And then we can see the creation objective, the different questions, what they're asking, some title that we can use to rank this specific article for, and just a lot more. So you can see that we have our executive summary, and then we have our outline brief. So I really like this view. I think it's easy to understand. It's set up very nice, and we can then share it with our content writer so they can go in and check out the brief. Now the pricing structure of Market Muse is where we see it's really a high-end content research tool because they have a premium plan where you get unlimited of everything that costs 999 US dollars, but you do also get all the modules and unlimited of everything. What I will recommend you starting with is the free plan to test out Market Muse because it's not certain that Market Muse is the tool for you. It really depends on the way that you work. And when you've tried out the free plan, if Market Muse is still something that's interesting for you, then maybe upgrade to the standard plan. So you take it step by step. And then when you grow and you need more space, you need more credits and you just need more modules, then you can go for the unlimited plan. Now the alternatives to Market Muse are two companies as I see it. The first one is Server SEO. Server SEO is also well known for their content research tool and it's a very powerful tool to build content within. I do not know that much about Server SEO uh, except for what I have seen already, but it seems like a great competitor. The other tool I will mention which is closely to Market Muse is Phrase.io. We have previously reviewed Phrase.io and it is a great tool. You can build very strong and powerful content within Phrase.io because the research tool within Phrase.io is just that powerful. It has so much data behind and you just get so much research. But as you've just seen, it's a lot the same within Market Muse. And Market Muse even have more modules than Phrase.io at the moment with the keyword research tool, the content gap modules, and so much more. So Market Muse is still the high end of these three products, but it is interesting to see how the other products will cope with Market Muse and whether the unlimited plan of Market Muse will decrease in price in the future. Let's see. Now the future of Market Muse, I couldn't find anything official of their roadmap. I tried to get into it, but it was private. So at the moment, I know they're working on a topic navigator where you can see topics and keywords around a search phrase. So you can cover all of the different topics on a specific search phrase. That gives you authority within the industry on that specific search phrase. Furthermore, of course, I hope that they will improve their AI because some of the drafts we're getting at the moment, they're not that high quality. And Market Muse is a high-end content tool, so we really need to expect that the AI will deliver great results for us. So those two I at least know and hope that they will work on. Using Market Muse, and as you just saw, it is definitely a premium tool. They have a huge help library and then I really like that all of the content you're building, you're building it based on research, which is based on a lot of content on data. Though I will hope that they will improve their AI to deliver better drafts and that they will maybe decrease the pricing of the unlimited plan because it is a bit too expensive at the moment. If you're looking for a premium content research tool that fits all your needs, then Market Muse is perfect for you. I'm a huge fan of all of the research I can do within Market Muse. And that's why I want to give Market Muse four and a half stars. They still need to improve their AI. But thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.